Hello my soccer universe! It was not really planned, but I figured that if I don't do this La Liga review now or uh, any of the other two that I didn't do, I'll, be, I'll get into real trouble ne next week. So I um, think this way works a little bit better for me. And you know, it's always nice to talk La Liga. I think it's the first time I'm wearing the Real Sociedad. I'm not sure uh, there, uh, but I'm quite happy with that. Um, Honestly, it was, uh, I did not follow too much. I mean, yes, uh, all eyes in La Liga were on Barcelona, of course. How will they do well? Um, they didn't do all that well. Uh, on the other side, I think they did already better than they did last season against this uh, the same opponent, Rayo Vallecano. Um, I'll talk about that, of course. Our, uh, Champions Real Madrid get a Real Madrid-like win. <laughs> in a way, uh, but just for being better and having the bench to um, outlast. But to me, in a way, almost the biggest one was that the unwanted children uh, <laughs> from Athletic Hong Kong Madrid suddenly are coming good with uh, Morata Griezmann scoring and Jao Felic um, uh, uh, assisting all three of them. So I think that's really, really nice. Uh, in Portugal, you know, it's almost all the big teams have won. However, it started with a real, real bang. And that's where I actually want to start this video video too. Um, we have round one here in Portugal. I see the results with Benfica winning uh, big, Porto winning big. But it's all about uh, Braga sporting uh, game. I actually regret that I did not watch. I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if I could have watched. That that's always Liga Portugal. Yes, there is now a German uh, channel that uh, would show some games, but it's very selective. So uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm sure if I, if, if I could have watched it one, but I saw the highlights and especially the opening twenty minutes were furious. Sporting in this game took three times the lead, uh, only to be pulled back by Braga. Uh, every single time, uh, missing chances along the way on both teams. It was a really, really exciting team, uh, wetting the appetite. Maybe Braga can do something. Uh, we have to see. The goal scorers were, uh, 1 0 Pedro Gonzalez in the ninth, then, uh, Banza in the 14th, equalizes Orta assisting, of course. Uh, Santos giving, um, sporting the league in the near Cate. Equalized just before for the half. I think there was a period in there where Sporting actually should have uh, probably doubled their lead. Then Edwards in the 83rd finally gets the go ahead goal for Sporting, but it's not enough because Ruiz in the 88th uh, manages an equalizer. An absolutely thrilling uh, start to the season in Portugal. Um, on the second match day, again, uh, maybe not as emphatic, uh, Benfica uh, winning at Casa Pia, uh, newly promoted, uh, sporting 3-0 over Rio Af, so both playing against promoted teams. Um, and Porto, a uh, 1-0 win at Vizela. I think for Benfica, as we'll see in a set, it's all about uh, qualifying for the Champions League at this moment. So... Um, Current standings, you see here standings plus the adjusted standings to the right uh, adjusted again doesn't mean much here, but we see at least uh, some performance measure to the right, which we I think is uh, always good. It is of course Benfica and Porto uh, on our top. Uh, Porto still the fav the favorites to win. Sporting of course dropped the points against Braga, that's why they're a little bit behind. Uh, it's also um, the reason why in the expected standings. Um, they are now in third place, but overall, uh, it is it points at this moment to a rather rather tight title race. I also want to give you the um, uh, next two rounds because, and this is all uh, the way it uh, is scheduled for now because I don't know when I will do the next time a video for this. I, I, I see there, you see that uh, for round three we have eight games played on the upcoming weekend, but the Benfica game has been postponed because of Champions League, so the Benfica can for, for focus on this, but we get a big one. Saturday, Porto against Sporting. Uh, this has been a real rivalry, Porto owning Sporting last season around. So that's actually a big one, Saturday evening. I would hope that I uh, that I, I can watch it and B, I hope there's not nothing else because that sounds like uh could already be a decider for the season to come for Sporting. Um, in uh, round four, then again, a little bit easing up of the schedule. Uh, if, I mean, Boavista Benfica, it's again um, a Porto against Lisbon. However, I think Boavista is at this moment, unfortunately, too weak to really mount a challenge there. 
Moving over to Spain, uh, the La Liga season star started with egg, actually quite a controversial game between Osasuna and Sevilla. And uh, yes, La Liga review will take a while until I get there. Um, however, I have to say the Osasuna jerseys look already really, really nice. And that's a jersey that's missing in the background. Uh, Osasuna took an early lead only to be packed back by Rafa Mir almost immediately with Papu Gomez assisting. And then it was kind of, I mean, I saw most of the second half kind of a little bit of back and forth um, um, that uh, Sevilla could have well scored. They had a, a call for a penalty, which was not 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 given. Not, but in the end, it's then a penalty is given for um, Osasuna. And to me, this one never was a penalty. I don't know what uh, the ref saw and that this instance so, 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 was a little bit of... I mean, there is not much that Papa Gomez is doing there, honestly. However, um, Aymar Oros um, steps up and takes a penalty and I heard, I heard, I heard now he's not a regular penalty, penalty taker, but he said, I will not take, take, take it. I think he came from the academy up and gives Osasuna a big win. Honestly, it might be a sign for uh, that this season for Sevilla will be a rough one with the players they have lost, I actually think. It could be tight for fourth place uh, this time around, and Sevilla might not be among the top teams uh, there. Um, Espanyol were 2 0 down, peg, 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 peg against, against Celta. Uh, Via Real was a little bit hard work, but overall they fully deserved their 3 0 win over Via Valladolid. I think Via Real really could be the team that makes it into the top four uh, this time, time around. But as I said, all eyes were on Ver Barcelona. If you saw my preview v v v v video, um, it was not clear whether they could register to play well. Uh, they made some more financial acrobatics, sold off the future, um, and could register everyone but Jules Conde didn't really help because Rayo is a team that they actually lost to twice last season. So the draw is already an improvement. Uh, so I want to see it for once a little bit Paul Popos was on Bar um, Barcelona. Uh, Rayo had a plan. And yes, it is defensive. And yes, uh, ev everyone expected Bar Barcelona to roll over Rayo, especially after you saw the preseason. But again, look, look at United. Preseason counts for nothing. Um, it might actually be the wake-up call that Barcelona in a way needed uh, to maybe get things a little bit better working to to uh, to, to, to get out. The one thing I have to say, Raya probably could have, probably should have won that game. Even. They had the two biggest chances in it there. For all all the possession that they had, Barcelona only scored an offside goal through Lewandowski. There was a, sh a shot by Busquets. But other than that, it was rather, rather... Uh, stale in in a way up uh, front and for the first time Robert Lewandowski does not score uh, first day of the season goal but you know maybe with all the trouble coming in rare uh, whether they get rare or not I mean maybe there's some uh, there's something there I think a big chance was by Obama Young but honestly uh, the two chances that uh, that Rao had just before the half and just after should have put them ahead and then they actually seemingly scored uh, the winner through Radamel Falcao after Busquets said, said off. The yellow card was fair. I have to also say that Radamel Falcao, yeah, typically South American fashion, he gets the elbow in the chin and he holds his face. Bad acting, bad, bad acting, then he scored. On the other side, uh, after the final whistle, he also stepped in, 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 and I saw because a little kid wanted to take a selfie with Robert Lewandowski, and the security guy wanted to pull away and drive like I said, it's a kid, let her, let him have that moment with his player. And actually, so you know, give and take, I didn't like his acting, but on, 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 on the other, when he scored, I'm honest, I was celebrating, and then, yeah. Did not count. I really wanted this rally. I mean, it was a rally, a rally check for Barcelona. Um, lots of work to do. Despite all the euphoria at the count now, and I still don't understand it because uh, it's not. I don't see this working out for Barcelona. In any way. Uh, Real Sociedad get a, only a 1 0 win at Cadiz. Uh, I say only because I mean yes, uh, Kubo gives them the lead in the in in in, in the twenty fourth, but especially in the stoppage time when Cadiz threw everything forward, and Real Sociedad try uh, had counter attacks, 
they should have made one of the, or not two goals. I mean, there was there was a two on two running onto the goalie, and yeah, if you pass it over, it is a goal. He doesn't pass it over, uh, and also during the game, but else is a much a better team. Valencia one nil over Girona. Gennaro Gattuso off to Gregor Stasha had had to left the Samu Castillo who is not playing for Valencia. Almeria really made Real Madrid sweat. They took an early lead and yes, uh, Real Madrid won the Super Cup against Eintracht Frankfurt in the midweek. Um, so, uh, there were some, some chances the Heat played, uh, the, so uh, he, he did not play Kroos, Modric and Casemiro. Uh, and I think, uh, Angel is not trying to vet in the young guard. And I actually think the succession that the Real Madrid is, is doing is actually rather smart. Uh, there. However, it needed Modric to come off uh, on uh, for Kama, Kamavinga and Chiumeni was then also uh, Azar was stepped um, was substituted on, and then uh, Lucas Vasquez Bonsema as he gets the equalizer, uh, and then the substitution of the weekend. Um, Real Madrid get a free kick at the edge of the pen 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 box um, to the left side from the goalie's perspective. And there was seemingly a water, a uh, water break or something like, 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 like that. And, um, and Angel, the son basically said to the coach, you know, Alaba takes really good free freaks from, from that position. Uh, get him on and he, he just got it with the first touch of his skill. Alaba does score a beautiful free, free freak in Real Madrid. Not much to talk about. Get the win. Real Madrid style. Uh, Bilbao disappointing 0 nil against Mallorca and then Atletico's win over Getafe. Maybe the 3 nil is a little bit too high, but overall, if you're Diego Simeone, all the uh, maligned players that you had, Morata, yes, he was, was, was you, but uh, he was never really good, good Atletico. Joao Felix, constantly, uh, is he working? Is he not working? Antonio Griezmann had an abject season last time around. All this players did their part. Morata scoring a brace, twice assist by Joao Felix. Griezmann also scores one, assisted by Joao Fe 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 Felix. So, uh, signs, early signs for Atletico maybe point to in, 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 in the right direction. Um, God, God, God say it looked a little bit um, different. You know, uh, nice patterns play going on forward. They tried to uh, dig in after the one nil a little bit. Doesn't really work at, at this moment. I said Getafe probably could have uh, got a little bit, but you know, so be it. And then uh, last but not least, uh, Betis winning 3-0. Yes, helped by an early red card for Donald for Elche. Um, uh, Borja Iglesias and Juan Mi scoring stronger goals. And while I really like Betis, and I think they could be an exciting team for the for, 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 for the season, but it also has to be absolutely said. Then similar troubles borrow personally also cannot register six players. What is going on? What is going on? I think this is some this uh, a little bit of sad state of affairs uh there. But on the other side, I think La Liga is doing the right thing to preach a little bit financial uh reason in a league that has been known to do exactly the opposite. And I'm looking especially at the top. Um yeah, gotta see where this is going. Um, if we look here at the standings, and I, I, I think for the Liga Portugal, I didn't say it uh, too, too much on the right, is projected and expected uh, part. Basically projected and I say it now once, uh, means these are the points that a team would get if we do not take into account uh, all the games that have been played. It's purely on the rating and expect is the um, points that they are currently expected taking the games into account. So you see uh, the quality uh, in the difference uh, there. And we have uh, quite some differences there. Uh, up top, uh, other, other than that, the only, the only, only, only thing I want to point out is that um, while Atleti, uh, Real Betis and uh, Villarreal are on top, it's still Real Madrid very, very, very much in control of, of the league. It's way more interesting to look at the expected uh, final standings. And there, we, of course, we see uh, that uh, Real Madrid are clear favorites. Barcelona Atleti going for second and third. Upcoming games, again, I give you the two. I think we have two rather interesting ones with Atletico Madrid uh, against Villarreal and Real Sociedad against Barcelona uh, um, on Sunday uh, evening. 
in uh, close succession Celta against Real Madrid also could be an interesting one because Celta always give, uh, gives um, uh, teams a hard time um, and then the week after um, we have a little Barcelona Real uh, Madrid affair between uh, Espanyol and Real Madrid um, if I look at other games Valencia against Atletico Madrid of course is a big one so yeah that was it from me from uh, the Iberian Penny Peninsula. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.